Hey guys, Kevin from Real Fragrance Review, and today I am here. I don't really have, technically it's an unboxing, but it'll be more of a first impressions, more than a boxing unboxing. So, I did get a box in from Zaharoff. I did open it, I did spray it on because I was uh, anxiously awaiting this fragrance. This fragrance is a hot ticket right now. Um, very excited, very anticipated, at least for me and Frank, uh, the fragrance community. I pulled out Zaharoff's signature uh, note card that they have here, uh, Elixir of the World. Uh, let's see what I got. Okay, so I did get Zaharoff Poco Loco in here. So I have already technically unboxed it. I, I got I got to a little bit early. I was very uh very happy and very anxious to see how it went. I did uh I did spray it on. So if you see that the bottle is used, I did I did use it. So um it was my gym gym scent of the day. So this is Coco Loco. Uh the packaging that Mr. George did uh, is stunning. It captures the Brazil. It captures Brazilian culture and artwork and just uh, the beach. They even got like the little parrots right here because I know if you guys have seen the cartoon movie Rio, they do have like parrots and. Uh, this is also uh, based on Carnival and Brazil. So I do have the Brazil jersey on. Brazil is my favorite national team. I know uh, you would think that the U.S. is, but I do like Brazil. I've always liked Brazil since 2013. I followed them. I followed Neymar. Neymar is my favorite player. I do have his uh, jersey on. Uh, Neymar is my idol. Favorite player, idol, and goat is different. And king. Neymar is my idol. Um, okay, let's check the bottle. I showed off the box. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Carnival inspired by Rio and uh, Brazil. Um, one little detail I did notice on the box. I love, love, love. I don't know if you can pick it up. But there is a Zaharoff icon right in the sun. That is very nice. Very nice. Okay, so Coco Loco. Um, I wanted to put a disclaimer. I did not get my bottle for free from George. If I did, I would let you know. So I did not get it for free. I paid, paid the one thirty-five just like you guys. And uh, but mine is a little different. I asked George to sign my Coco Loco bottle. Yes, I have the purple cap. There is five cap colors: purple red yellow green and light blue uh i did get the purple one i did have george sign my bottle as you can see i requested for him to sign my bottle that is why i do not have the um the slip so you know how every zaharoff comes with a little a little um oh what is it called the slip, the packaging, kind of like the Coco Loco front. You know how Tabac has like a, a nice little packaging detail on the front. Mine does not have that due to me requesting George to sign my bottle. I wanted George. I requested George to sign my bottle. He agreed, but he did say that, um, that the foil and the front, um, the Coco Loco branding... Will not be on the bottle due to the signature so i said hey man uh, i just appreciate that you sign it for me and uh yes i did request him to sign it that is why my bottle is a bit different than yours but you guys should all i have the same retail bottle and everything you guys i just don't have the front coca loco branding um now to the scent let me let me get out the notes because there's a lot all right 
So the top notes are fresh cardamom from Guatemala, red clementine, juicy pear, pineapple, heart note, coconut flesh, blonde cedar, pimento leaves from Jamaica, blonde cedar from Virginia, neroli petals, star jasmine from France. Yeah. Bottom notes, benzoin tears, Tonka bean from Brazil, heliotrope from the Andes Mountains, interesting, vanilla from Madagascar, and white musk. That is the notes. So, uh, this is a Brazilian themed fragrance, Coca Loco. Uh, George, George posted on Facebook that he went to Rio and was on Copacabana Beach. Copacabana Beach is a famous beach in Brazil. Um, that is where he got all of his, all of his inspiration from for Coco Loco. Uh, Coco Loco is from Brazil. I am a big Brazil fan for soccer. So this one, I have a personal connection to. I've always wanted to go to Rio. I was pretty jealous that George got to go to Rio. That's pretty cool. And uh, Copacabana Beach in the 2014 World Cup, they always showed videos on ESPN of Copacabana Beach, and that's just a absolutely beautiful beach. Uh, enough of <laughs> story time. Let's get into the into the fragrance. You came for the fragrance. Now let's go to here. And then I'll do two on the other one just so I can get uh I can get some some differences going on. I, I love the purple cap. I, I like how they have five different separate cap colors. I think there's gonna be a lot of trading going on in the Facebook groups. I don't think my purple cap's going anywhere. I I like purple. Purple's one of my favorite colors, so Okay, so right off the bat, I'm getting, yeah, I do get some cardamom, um, not noticeable cardamom, not n noticeable cardamom, uh, clementine, oh lord. Sorry, my phone's been going off. Something about hail. Okay, so, uh, the juicy pear and pineapple. This is where it stands out, and I get a lot of juicy pear and pineapple. I love, like, pear notes and pineapple, but the pineapple is really popping right now off my skin. A lot of people, a lot of people, uh, seem to like the pineapple in Aventus, Creed Aventus. I don't know if they'll like this pineapple, but this is a very, very gorgeous pineapple, George. Uh, George and Claudier, I forgot to mention the uh, the nose behind it, the creator. Well, not the creator, but the perfumer. The perfumer is Claudier. He has been doing uh, all of the signature lines, so Royale, Rose, uh, Tabac, Noir, Signature Royal X, uh, Coco Loco Citrine, uh, Leather Tabac, and Signature Royal XXX. I don't know if he did XXX or not for sure, but I do know that Claudier did do all of, if not, or almost all, if not all of the line. All right. I'm glad I got that out of the way. I would. I always want to give credit to the perfumer because they make the things go and do great artists. Or they're they're great artists. Yeah. Um. I get a nice. You know. You know where transforms me too. It. Uh. It reminds me when I took this cruise. I went to uh, Turks. I went to Turks and Caicos. And this transforms me back. This transports me back to when I was on the beach. Um, this is not kind of like a suntanny coconut. This is like 
a real coconut. Think of, um, what was it called? You know that, uh, that drink that they put in alcohol, uh, Malibu? Think of the coconut like that. It is kind of like that. Um, very sweet, very sweet. But not too sickly sweet, like, uh, fragrances can get. Um, there is a lot of florals, so like the neroli, uh, the neroli and cedar and pimento, oh, and jasmine, are all like supportive, so they don't really, they kind of help amplify the pear and the pineapple. That's mainly the stars of the show. Uh, once when you get to the dry down, it gets like a creamy vanilla coconutty and uh pear the pear and pineapple are pretty much the star of the show i feel this could change once when i do my review but that is what i am getting but it is absolutely gorgeous um i'm gonna cut off the video there but this is zaharoff's signature coco loco guys please let me know how you feel uh about coco loco um, this is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance, I feel. I feel that this is George's, one of George's best. Um, this is, I just want to say this right now, this is a brother to Citrine. So if you have Citrine, Citrine is for day, this is for night. So if you're going to go to like a night dinner or a nice fancy night on like a boat, a cruise, or anything like that, Coco Loco is will be the star of the show um i think i will test it and i will find out anyway thank you guys so much